might be scaring the fish. We gotta make sure we get one stick. Oh! I think you got a hit. Think so. Let's see. What is it? I can't wait to see the kind of fish it is. What is it? What is it? Huh? What? It's the letter F. Whoa. That's today's dead letter of the day. The letter F. Huh. And fishing starts with F. That's why I'm out here fishing. And I have a very special guest who's fishing with me. This is my father. Father starts with F. We're going to try to catch some fish for, for dinner. I can't believe we caught the letter F. Wow, that's, that really was something. Yeah. I hope we catch a fish this time. A big one. Yeah. Oh, huh. wait a minute. I think I have something else. Wow, that's, that's Ooh. a big, holy mackerel. Whoa. Oh, what is it? I, I don't know. Is that a purple fish? <sighs> oh. oh, it's a feather. Huh. A purple feather. Hey, feather starts with F. What kind of bird do you think this belongs to? I don't know. All right, well. well I thought we had dinner, but don't look that yeah. good, does it? No, I don't think I want to eat a feather. All right, let's try again. So let's see. Cut the letter F. And we cut a feather. Oh. I think you got another hit. I hope it's a fish. I think it is this time. I, I can see it. It's really big. Wait a minute. What is that? I don't know. It looks yummy. It's a it's a brown kind of wait, wait, it's not. Hello? This fish is all over the place. Wait, that's not a fish. It's a football! <laughs> How'd you catch a football? You know, football starts with F, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I'll be done. You know what else starts with F? Fish! Let's catch a fish this time. Oh. Boy, that hat is really quite interesting. That one. Thank you, it's a pumpkin hat. Wow. Yeah, my perfect, friend. Perfect for the seat. It is, thank you. My friend um, Christine made it. Thank you, Christine. Maybe she can make you one too if you want. Oh, shh. I think you got a fish, dude. Oh! oh it better be a fish this time. Cool. All right. Oh, it's an orange fish. Maybe Nemo? Is it like a clownfish? I hope it's not Nemo, but a clownfish would be pretty cool. In a minute. It's a fork! Well. Fork starts with an F. It does start with F. How is that? This You're is, catching everything starts with an F. This is unbelievable. You know what? Let's save the fork because I bet we'll catch a fish at some point. We can use it to eat the fish. Very good. You right. know, I've been the one to catch every single thing so far. Well, you know, it makes me kind of mad. I, I hope to get a big fish this time. Oh, I think I will. Somebody's got to catch a fish. I'm only yeah, catching forks so. and feathers. Oh, and, oh, oh that's oh, a oh, fish. Oh, Holy mackerel. Oh, oh, that's a fish. Ah, ah, here we go. Oh, dinner time. Ah. Wow, what a waffle. Oh, that's, that's not very big. That not very big at all. I thought it was a big fish. Well, I'll be. Well, that'll make, it, that'll I, make a meal. Yeah, I think so. Hey, everybody. I am back, and I am excited. I need two different kinds of food cars. I'm going to show you what they are, and then we're going to race them to see which is the fastest. Our first car, drum roll please, is a cucumber driven by elephants. We have a nice green cucumber with some nice wheels. One, two, three, four wheels makes for a good car. Elephant. And then we have, drum roll please. Monkey and the banana car. Banana's yellow and it's got four wheels too. One, two, three, four. And you might notice that I put seat belts on the monkey and the elephant to keep them safe. We don't want them to fall during the race to see who's fastest. Okay, everybody. I wonder which one do you think is gonna be the fastest? Raise your hand if you think the banana car driven by monkey will be the fastest. 
Okay, who thinks the cucumber car driven by elephants is going to be the fastest? Oh, I can't wait to find out. So here are the rules. We're going to start off by letting them go on the top of the ramp. And we're going to see which one goes the fastest. It's possible that they might fall off the table onto the floor. But we'll see what happens. All right, are you ready? You can help me count. We're going to put them at the top. And on the count of three, we're going to let them go and see which one is the fastest. I hope it's a good race, everybody. OK, ready? One, two, three, go! Oh! The elephant fell off in the cucumber. But the elephant's OK. And the winner of the food race is monkey and the banana. Did you guess that? Was that your choice? Well, good job if you did. Here we are with two real firefighters at Bellingham Station One. This is Firefighter Brad. Hi guys. And this is Firefighter Dragon. How are we doing? <laughs> and they're gonna tell us what it's like to be a real firefighter. So what it's like to be a real firefighter is, in my opinion, is the best job in the world. Uh, I was growing up, I knew I wanted to be a firefighter. I was probably three years old when I started visiting the Bellingham Fire Department and it's one of the best jobs in the world. I can say I love going to work every day. I wake up, I look forward to what the day is going to bring. I like being with my guys and uh, it's, it's, it really is the best job in the world. Um, we live here for 24 hours so a lot of people don't realize that we live here for 24 hours so it's our home away from home. So we have to clean just like everybody at home. If your parents clean at home or, you're, or you clean at home, we have to do our dishes, we have to do our laundry, we have to sweep, we have to mop, we have to make sure the station's all clean. And we also have to eat here. We eat three meals a day here, so it's just like being at home. Um, I have a bunch of big brothers and big sisters, and we just it's just like being at home. So typically on a day, we come in, we check our truck, we get changed up, and then we're ready to go. Some of the things that we check um, and some of the things that we wear are as our firefighter gear. So my friend Firefighter Dragon is gonna stop putting on his gear. So just like you guys at home, when you guys are going to play out in the snow, you guys put boots on, right? You put boots on, you put snow pants on, you put a hood on, and you put a coat on. So just like you guys at home, we have special boots and we have special pants. So Firefighter Dragon is putting his pants on right now and he has his boots. But the difference between your gear and our gear is this is meant to protect us. So this can protect us up to about 500 degrees. So we can go into a building and rescue people and put out fires. So Firefighter Dragon has his bunker pants on. So before we put his coat on, does he still look like Firefighter Dragon? Absolutely, this is still Firefighter Dragon. He hasn't changed. So the next thing he's going to do is he's going to be putting his hood on. So just like you guys at home, to keep your ear nice and warm, we're gonna put our hood on. He's going to take his mask off because he's going to be putting on an SCBA, which we'll talk about in a second. And now he's going to put his coat on. So he puts his coat on. Now, one question. Is he still Firefighter Fabrice or Firefighter Dragon? He most certainly is. But is he ready to go play out in the snow yet? No, because he's missing some things. So he's going to button up his coat so he's nice and protected. Make sure he's all buckled up, make sure he's nice and protected. Make sure everything is good. All right, so now he's buttoned up, but he's not ready to go play out in the snow yet. He needs a couple more things, okay? First thing he's gonna take, he has his gloves with him to keep his hands nice and warm and protected. All right, and he also needs his helmet. But before we do that, we have to put a special device on. Firefighter Dragon, if you wanna grab the, uh, the air pack. So this air pack right here is what we use to breathe. So when we're in a fire, we can't breathe in the smoke because it's really bad for us. So Firefighter Dragon is gonna put on his SCBA. Now, just like you guys carry a backpack at home to school, this is just like, this is just like a backpack. All right, it's just like his backpack. So he's gonna go put it on. Put his So Firefighter Dragon is still Firefighter Dragon. That hasn't changed. He shouldn't be scary, right? He still looks like Firefighter Dragon. So now what he's going to do 
is he gonna put a special face piece on? We're gonna turn his air on. Now, when we turn his air on, it's gonna make a couple different noises, and those noises are to keep us safe. But he's still firefighter dragon, he's not scary. The next thing he's gonna do is he's gonna put on his face piece. Now this face piece protects his face from fire, from heat, from smoke, but it also allows him to breathe. Almost looks like a, like if you're going snorkeling or you have goggles on when you go swimming. Right. A firefighter, firefighter dragon, he has everything all buttoned up. Now, one question, is he ready to go into a fire or is he ready to go in the snow? No, he's missing his helmet and he's missing his gloves. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna put his gloves on and his helmet. Gonna make sure his helmet's nice and snug. All right? He's gonna grab his gloves, he's gonna put his gloves on. And now he's ready to go on air. So Firefighter Dragon is now ready to go, and what we say we play in the snow, but he's ready to go fight a fire and help people. So if Firefighter Dragon talks, can you talk Firefighter Dragon? I can talk, yep. Yeah. So does that sound weird? Yes, but is it still Firefighter Dragon? It most certainly is. So it's very important that if you are in a situation where we have to come help you, one very important tip is we never want you to hide. We want you to come to us because he's still Firefighter Dragon. He's still Firefighter Dragon and he's gonna come help you. So it's very important if you see us, not to run and hide, but to come to us and we're gonna help you. So this is still Firefighter Dragon, as if he didn't have his gear on. Wasn't that exciting, everybody, to see real-life firefighters? Let's say thank you to Firefighter Brad and to Firefighter Dragon for helping us out. Thank we'll you, guys. <laughs> we'll see you next time for the letter G.